Hey everyone, in the news this week, the band S Club 7 are going to have to rename themselves S Club 6 after the death of band member Paul. And as a double whammy for fans, the ticket prices for the upcoming reunion show are probably going to have to go up due to it now being 14% less rubbish. And Gary Lineker is saying that Alan Hansen left match of the day because of the nerves. Yeah Gary, you getting on them. But anyway, let's talk about the main news story this week. Older viewers might remember that episode of Porridge where Fletcher writes a cleverly worded letter to his missus and the police end up wasting their time digging up the garden for nothing. Well, it seems that Ronnie Barker might have been married to Nicola Sturgeon because this week the police showed up at the Casa del Sturgeon to erect a tent in the garden and arrest her husband, Peter Murrell. Peter was the SNP's chief executive and is alleged to have misappropriated or lost half a million pounds that was set aside for a future referendum. The implication is either that he pocketed it or that it just got spent without him noticing how or when. If it's the latter, then that's not a crime, it just means he was utterly incompetent at his job. And given the SNP's track record at this sort of thing, I think we all know what happened. If he has half a million quid in his bank account, then I'm a vegan. But the main reaction to this arrest was the demand that the SNP's leadership election should be rerun, now that people know that Hamza Youssef's claim to be a continuity Sturgeon candidate might not be such a good thing after all. Plus that election was the classic result, 52-48%, to 48%, and that means they were obliged to rerun the election indefinitely. SNP members should be careful about asking for change though. I recently asked Alexa to change the TV and two hours later a delivery driver showed up to swap it for a 60 inch OLED display. There's also the angle if Hamza steps down then all the backbenchers get to roll the dice again about getting themselves that cushy cabinet job. Although there are other job openings out there this week. I've got a friend who's a careers advisor at school and a kid recently came in and said he wanted a temporary position where he gets paid a ton of money for achieving nothing. Anyway, his interview for the position of interim manager at Chelsea's this Wednesday. Best of luck. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, like, subscribe.